So here's another percent composition problem involving figuring out the chemical formula of MSG, this food additive, uh, monosodium glutamate. So it's 35.151% carbon, 4.77% hydrogen, 37.85% oxygen, 8.29% nitrogen, and 13.6% sodium. So what is the molecular formula if the weight is 169 grams per mole? Molar mass is usually in grams per mole. Well, assuming that all of these percentages add up to 100, and they actually do, uh, we can assume and go ahead and say that instead of 35.51% carbon, because all of these add up to 100%, we actually have 35.51 grams of carbon, 4.77 grams of hydrogen, this many grams of oxygen, this many grams of nitrogen, and finally that many grams of sodium. So let's go ahead, knowing the grams, let's go ahead and convert all of these to moles. Okay, so I went ahead and just filled out the percentages that came from this problem. And uh, as stated before, because they add up close to 100%, we can say we have 35.51 grams of C. Let's go ahead and convert that to moles. So without us using my periodic table, because I got so many down the row here, I'm just going to say one mole of carbon is about 12.01 grams of carbon. And this is about 2.9, so I'm going to say three moles of carbon. Uh, 4.77 grams of hydrogen. One mole of hydrogen has about 1.01 grams of hydrogen. And on my calculator, I'm going to go ahead and um, this is not a clean number, so I'm just going to put it to two decimal places, three sig figs, 4.72 moles of hydrogen. 37.85 grams of oxygen. We know that for every one mole of oxygen, there's 16.01 grams of oxygen the grams, grams cancel. This is not another clean number. It's not clean. 2.36 moles of oxygen. Continuing on, 8.29 grams of nitrogen times one mole of nitrogen has about 14.01 grams of nitrogen. Grams, grams of nitrogen cancel. Uh, 0.59 moles of nitrogen. And then finally, we have 13.6 grams of sodium. And for every one mole of sodium, there is 23.01 grams of sodium. And this is also 0.59 moles on my calculator. All right, so we got the moles. Let's go ahead and fill out our formula, realizing we can never have decimals as our and our final chemical formula. So we are having C3H4.72, that's not good, O2.36, and none of these decimals are good essentially, N.59, and then Na.59. So as before, we'll do our normalization procedure. Normalization is just a fancy way in math to force the lowest number to 1. And uh, if it's close enough, I can round. I got to be careful. I, it may be a fraction. So this is something that's kind of a little bit of a difficult part. So 3 divided by 0.59, dividing by the lowest number. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and call that 5. It's not a ready fraction like 1 half or 3 halves or any of that sort. 5 halves, 7 halves. Divided by 0.59. Oh, that's a straight up 8, so it's good. 2.36 divided by 0.59. 2.36 divided by 0.59. Uh, that's a perfect 4. Very good. Uh, yeah, a, a 0.59 divided by 0.59 is 1, and then sodium is there. So I'm going to just rewrite this a little bit, having the Na first. You usually want to have a non... Uh, you want to have the metals first, but... All right, so is this the formula of uh, MSG? Uh, that's what we're getting. They tell us that the molar mass... Let's look more closely at the problem here. The molar mass is 169 grams per mole. So, uh, or 169 grams. 
So if all of this adds up to 169 grams, I'm good. If it doesn't, I gotta multiply by two, three, I gotta multiply it by some factor to get it to equal to 169 grams. So let's do our check to see if this does as a weight equal to 169 grams. So sodium is about 23.01. Okay, carbon is about 12.01, but we got five of them. Hydrogen is 1.01 grams per mole. Oxygen is 16.01, but we got four of them, so multiply it by four. And then finally, nitrogen is 14.01. All right, let's do this in our calculator. If it adds up to 169, which is the, what they're asking us for, then we're good. If not, then we gotta multiply it this whole equation by some number to get it to equal to 169 when we add up the weights. About 169.19 grams per mole, and yeah, that matches it pretty well here. It's telling us it's about 169 grams. So this is, you know, I can st state with reasonable confidence that this is the formula of the chemical additive MSG.